If you observe the natural cycle of the body, there is something called a mandala. Every forty to forty-eight days, the system goes through a certain cycle. In every cycle of this, every single cycle, in this three days will appear where your body does not need food. If you are conscious of how your body functions, you will become aware that today my body does not need food. And without any effort, you can go without food on that day, if you observe the cycle properly. They wake up in the morning, no breakfast, no lunch, only after the sun sets, they eat one meal. This is just to allow the system to realign itself. If you give this break, it's very, very good for your health and your body the way it functions because the system needs that time to adjust itself. Every day food, every day food, it's a lot of hard work for the body. Give it a little break. If you're not able to fast, on one day you go on something lighter, maybe just juices or something else, which is much lighter for the system to handle, definitely body will be very grateful to you. If that awareness is not there as to which day that is, for that, in India, they fixed what is called as Ekadashi. That means, four days before the full moon, four days before the new moon day, people don't eat. If you go to someone's house for lunch or dinner, and they serve you something, sort like lemonade or lemon juice before the meal, it means they are trying to kill your appetite. Drinking lemonade reduces your appetite. We are a 10,000 year old culture, people are crafty. Certain especially crafty communities will serve a sweet first, which also reduces your appetite by half. They had to evolve strategies because treating a guest is not a choice in India, it is a must. But you can use your intelligence for your own economic reasons and for your guest's health. Because if something is free, people will have a little more. Some kill themselves by having too much. Ekadshi means fasting. When you are fasting, just put a nilike, Indian gooseberry, in your mouth and keep chewing it to ward off hunger. Otherwise, when you fast, your digestive juices will play and after some time, they will build up. And if they spill over, you will puke. If you put something sour into the system, it will settle. There is nothing better than a nilike for that purpose. This comes from a certain understanding of the human system. Just one nilike in your mouth will keep you going for three to four hours without feeling hungry because it will keep the digestive juices down. Even with morning sickness, nilike helps. If you are constantly drinking coffee or tea, then if you fast, it will become torture for you. If you want to fast, first of all prepare the body by eating the right kind of foods. If it is a great torture when you hold back your urge to eat, you will only cause damage to the system. Maybe you are thinking of performing some kind of a feat that you did not eat for three days and you want to go and tell that to the whole world. Please do not do such things. It is of no benefit to you. You will just make yourself weak. Just understanding the body and coming to a deeper understanding of how the system functions and what is the best thing to do is more important than doing something like this. It may not be a good thing for everyone to fast, but it has many benefits if it is done with proper understanding.